Right now, you may find yourself sitting at home more than usual. If only there was something to do. I know, let's craft. But what should we make? We put that question on our social media and you all came back with a long list of ideas. So we're gonna try a few out today. Paint a sunset. I cannot guarantee that my painting skills are up to par, but we'll do our best. I'm using white poster board for my sunset painting. I have blue, purple, pink, more pink, orange, yellow, white, and black acrylic paints, and a paintbrush. I'm starting with a dark blue across the top. Then let's add some purple and blend these two together. Just taking nice, even strokes going back and forth. We're just gonna allow them to fade into each other. Inexpensive craft paint dries pretty quickly, so you may have to add more as needed. Now that I have my blue and my purple, let's add a little pink. Might need to add a little more purple. Then blend the two colors together. Add orange, and now some yellow. My poster board is getting a little wobbly, but once it dries, it should dry flat. Blend the colors, and I'm just continuing with the yellow at the bottom. Now we just need to let it dry. It might be dry enough. I'm using a little white paint, and I'm just gonna paint a white circle. I am evening out the paint to the best of my abilities. Use some of the leftover paint on the brush to kind of make some little wispy clouds. I'm gonna add some black right to the bottom. Ooh, that looks nice, kinda like grass. Let's do this all the way across. Try to be careful not to get it on my table. Then just brush up to continue that grass look. Use a thinner brush to add a couple of longer ones. I'm trying to be very sporadic here, like nature. Ah! I got a few paint splatters. We're just gonna turn those into birds. Here you go, little bird now. My blending is not the best, but this will make a great background. Lean the poster board against a wall, zoom in, place an object in front, focus on it, and the camera will blend the background for you. And now our dolls can take a walk at sunset. What about briar horse photography? Okay, so painting a sunset is pretty random, but totally useful. And it looks pretty awesome outside a dollhouse window. Dim the lights, take a flashlight, shine it through the window to create some fun lighting effects. Makes a pretty nice Instagram post. A bag of braiding hair. Ah, that's because I posted this on Instagram. I was doing my hair and I cut parts of the packaging to get a small square with the product name and a long rectangle. Then I needed tape, yarn, and a plastic wrapper. I got my plastic from a dollar store fashion pack. Cut a few loops of yarn. I have four. Line them up side by side. Cut clear tape in half. Place it in the center of the yarn. Tape it onto the rectangle, not right at the top, but just a little below. Wrap the tape around the sides. Fold over the yarn. Trim it across the bottom. Use a hot glue gun to place glue across the top. Then glue on the square. Place it inside of the plastic, pushing it right to the top. Cut around it. I have two layers of plastic here, and the hair is on the inside. Fold the plastic over on the sides. Turn it over and secure with tape on the back. Fold up the bottom. Secure with tape. Use a mini hole punch on the top to make a mini bag of braiding hair. Many of you may not have braiding hair packaging at home, so I made a printable. Cut out the two rectangles. We need two for each package. Glue one onto an index card. Cut it out. Take the other printable 
and glue it onto the back. You want to make sure the square is at the top. Fold it over, creating a little flap. Prepare the yarn just as before. Tape it into the printable. Wrap it with plastic to make miniature packs of braiding hair. Three packs? That ain't enough to redo all of this. What's next? Toilet paper. We have a printable for toilet paper. Oh wait, this says mega toilet paper. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a little more work. And a new printable. This is on the same printable as the braiding hair packaging. Cut it out. It says we need 18 rolls. Wow, let's get started. We need a paper bag. Then we need toilet paper, tissue, paper towels, or napkins. I want to hang on to my toilet paper, so I'm going to use some napkins I found in a drawer. I will also need a wooden dowel. Draw three quarter inch strips onto the paper bag. Cut on the lines drawn. Roll it around the wooden dowel. Use glue to secure the end. Cut the napkin into three quarter inch strips. Glue one end of the napkin onto the roll. Then roll the rest of the paper around it. Add on as needed until you get that desired thickness. Now make 17 more. This is taking forever. Wow, okay, I'm gonna go make this printable a little smaller. Okay, so now we have six rolls instead of 18. 18 was crazy. Cut them out, get more recycled plastic, cut a large rectangle of plastic, take the printable and tape it to the center. Place the rolls of toilet paper on top, wrap the plastic around it, use tape to secure the end, fold over the top and bottom like you would if you were wrapping a present, secure with tape, to make a miniature mega roll of toilet paper. Now you can make as much toilet paper as you like and your miniverse will never run out until you run out of napkins. Woohoo! A lanyard. Okay, why not? Okay, so it's just like some ribbon and a tag. I'm using 1 8 inch ribbon, jump rings, and a printable, and tape. We will definitely need tape. Cut seven inches of ribbon, take the ribbon, overlap the ends, glue them together, make sure it can fit over your doll's head, place a jump ring on the end, and glue it in place. Cut out two of the VIP tags. Glue them back to back. Cover with tape. Cover both sides. Trim off the excess. Make a hole in the top. Place a jump ring through the hole along with the ribbon on the jump ring to make a mini lanyard. You see that tag? VIP baby, that's me. What's next on the list? face mask oh how are we supposed to make that i'm just gonna use paper i feel like that would be some really tiny sewing and uh yeah let's go with paper cut a one by one and a half inch rectangle of paper i added it to our printable along with a few thinner rectangles cut them out i am also using elastic this is elastic cording that you would find in the sewing section, and this is elastic for making jewelry. I'm using the jewelry one because it's a lot thinner. Now that I have all of my materials, I'm gonna glue these strips onto the top and bottom, but I think I made them a little too thick, so I fold it in half, then trim it down a little on the side opposite of the fold. Open it up, and glue it onto the edge of the larger rectangle. Repeat for the bottom, fold in a few pleats. I was only able to do two, but that looks pretty good. Take two more white strips, fold them in half and trim. Glue it over the sides. Repeat on the other side. Make sure you give it time to dry, then trim off the excess. Measure out about an inch and a half of elastic. Cut it, cut two, turn the paper over to the back, glue the elastic onto the ends, looping it around to the other end, then repeat on both sides. 
I used hot glue to glue down my elastic and right before it was completely dried, I used the end of my scissors to press it down to make it flat, completing our face mask. Carefully pull the paper apart in the center so we get that contouring type shape. Loop the elastic over the doll's ear to make a miniature face mask. Home decor. Hmm, I could always use a new shelving unit. Cut foam board into one and a quarter inch strips. Cut them into two inch pieces. Take one, lay it flat, then glue another one on the edge. Glue another one on top. Go to the other end and glue on another one. Then just continue, alternating the side you start on. I end with a flat piece on top to make a shelving unit. This took nine rectangles and it's a great addition to the dollhouse where we can display a few lightweight items like our new tell-all book, The Darby Show and Summer and Callie Explained. This is also a printable available on our blog. After printing it out, you have two rows of pages, templates, and the book cover. Cut out the pages in one long strip. You should end up with six pieces. Take a note card and glue on the templates. Fold all of the pages on the lines. Then bend them so they lay accordion style, with the first and last pages always going up. Glue the two strips together. Then glue each page together so they are front and back, but the pages at the end and at the beginning should be left single. Take the cover and fold on the lines, cut out the templates, glue them into the cover between the folds. There should be a little bit of space left between them. Fold over the tabs and glue them down to make a hardback cover. Apply glue to the back of the blank pages, then glue them into the cover Allow it to dry for a few seconds, then close the front cover, pinch it at the spine to make some interesting miniature reading. Ooh, it's getting late. The sun is going down. So that's all we have time for today. We made quite a few random projects requested by all of you. Let us know in the comments down below what random quick crafts you would like to see next. Thank you for joining us for these random quick crafts. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we can't wait to see what you create when you stay home and craft. Beverages, show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles to cover in her face. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies.